Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to the Cataclysmo Demo Round 2. Uh, to promote, I guess, as part of the Steam Next Fest, but also as part of Kickstarter. I almost never promo Kickstarter campaigns anymore just because there's just too many games and most of them are just kind of... I hate to say it, slightly ho-hum. Uh, games I've played before in various capacities, and so it's kind of harder to do a Kickstarter promo f for something that's kind of been there, done that. So I could do Plentiful here, but I could potentially have two of these if I put it there. I'm going to send my people out. We're going to try and clear out some of these enemy camps around because we can also get extra resource stocks. And while we're here, okay, that is building up. We're going to want to make some shacks. Iris is under attack. So I can build some more folks. How are they doing? They take a little bit of damage, but we don't have to worry too much. I don't think I'm going to want to go too far out here, though. For Ogar. This is a group of enemies on this side that's a little tough. I put like five minutes into this earlier and said, yeah, it's worth coming back for another video on, on this game. Good. Uh, but the entire point is, it is a base building stronghold builder, effectively. With RTS elements. So effectively, enemies are going to be coming at me at regular intervals. Hmm. And I want to... We will prevail. Obviously, stop them from doing that. Let's see, while we're here, resource gathering. Do I actually have enough people for all of this? Hope I do. The palido shines. Yes. Go this direction. Uh, but so this is made by the people that made Moonlighter, and uh, I guess more recently, Mage Seeker. And so as part of this one, and one of the reasons why they're going through Kickstarter is because they actually want to go independent for once. Uh, that uh, Moonlighter was through Humble Bundle, and Mage Seeker was Riot Games, for obvious reasons. Low and, and so this is kind of their attempt to go fully independent. And uh, well, I can say they brought their A game here. Like, this game is gorgeous stylistically impressive and mechanically one of the better like base building games i've seen in forever uh i should pause for a second and actually build stuff because we're maxed out on stone and i shouldn't miss minerals. that oh we need minerals we have none oh bugger because yeah i should i should at least Start putting a couple of these down. Otherwise, we're going to have some issues when it comes to base building. I'm not entirely sure which direction my enemies are coming from. But we do need to find that mineral supply first and foremost. Where I can check like a map. Citadel, Iris. No, so I think I'm just going to have to go looking around. I guess we'll go back this direction. Right. Maybe we'll find it around here. We will prevail. Hopefully we'll have plenty of time before everything gets too bad. Because while we're here, let's um let's get an air filter down. Not enough space. Out of sight, not enough space. Needs more support. So I could actually build some things around here if I want to. Low oxygen. I'll take any amount. Other gatherer is too close, must be placed higher. So we're going to be putting oxygen things all over the place. We will prevail. Looks like we actually have quite the fort here. Is there a map? There is kind of a map mode. I wish it would tell me where, like, stone supplies are. But I guess I'm just to make do without. Whoa. Okay, only some of them are coming. That actually works really well for me. Speaking of... Pause a little bit more. It would be here. Oh, okay, so we need 20... 20 people if I want to... Let's see. Uh, 20 population if I want to get the... Um, the barracks down. So let's actually spend a bunch of wood, get some houses. 
Okay, yes. let's go this direction. Mm -hmm. That looks like a supply of minerals. If we can get to it. I think we'll be fine. This is a tougher group. On. For Ogar. Good. Well, it's a more numerous group, but there's none of the tough ones. The tough ones are spooky because I don't just, like, one or two shot. My characters will heal up, so I don't have to worry too much. I just have to make a little bit more progress. Speaking of, resource gathering? No. Military barracks. Perfect. Where do I put it? Right here in the front and center? Sure. Because I'm going to need more people if I want to clear out the lands outside. Yeah, we want to get up o over here. We also kind of want to figure out where my enemies are coming from, but I don't think we will know that until we actually get a notification saying, like, hey, enemies are coming. Okay, so we've got 100 minerals plus other stuff. Whoop. Huh. Okay, there we go. The game was just automatically panning for me, and that was weird. Yeah. Huh? There we go. That's right. It looks like we can climb up here. Uh, can't reach its destination. Okay, and that's a whole bunch. Yeah, problem is, I don't know where my enemies are coming from. And that is going to be a slight issue for me. We have some minerals now, so I can... I guess we should start with the gates. Because all we need is a one double door per direction. So we might want to end up having two. I don't think we need anything over here. Or do we? Because the one option I do have, as silly as it is, is I could actually have a series of kind of battlements up here. Yeah, I don't... At the very least, I don't think we need anything down low. Because from my perspective... Most of the uh, most of the critters coming this direction are just going to be coming uh, from the swamp, and we'll figure out battlements later. Okay. Oh. Okay. I do stairs. Yes. Yeah, we're going to need more oxygen production. We're going to need so many things. Oxygen is dwindling. Okay. I think we're kind of okay. Yeah, I think we'll be fine in this group. Let's go already. How injured are we looking? Right. Actually kind of bad. Pause for a hot second. Easier if I give them some level of battlements to just retreat to. Luckily, nobody has to, like, walk out and build these. So that makes my life easier. I'll just put that there. We can recycle everything freely. Take the group back. I don't want to lose any of my units. Oh, we can also improve the max health of lobber units. Damage per hit of bowmen. Let's grab that. And while I'd like to get some more of those, we are also going to need some more air filtering. What are we doing on stone? We're going to need tons. 
not enough space. Needs more support, not enough space. I wish I could kind of destroy those. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of good spots to put air filters down. Can I put them on the... Well, I guess I can't put them on that. Um... What about out here? Because yeah, we've got these upper cliffs. I think I'm going to have to build up to them. The problem is, how am I going to get it? Because yeah, I have too many buildings right now for the amount of oxygen that I can feasibly support. And I don't think I can build... I put like a wooden strut on these. No, not enough space. I wish I could, because it would be so much easier if I could get up there. I almost get the distinct uh -huh. feeling they might want me to build out here. Okay. Place above buildings to maximize performance. Yeah. I mean, I suppose I could build, like, a beacon out here. Gonna cost me even more oxygen, but might get me some more as well. Oh, and they didn't decide to come along. That's good. Are, are they back up to full? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Heal shockingly fast. We do have some air over here that I think we might want to head for. My lasting fear mostly boils down to... Oops. Okay. There we go. And my lasting fear with developing anywhere is I don't know where they're going to be coming from. And that's a bit on the scary side. That said, might be worth it. Okay, can I, can I put a couple of these blocks down? Because I'm just going to put a beacon on top of this. Let's see, we're gonna need another, we're gonna need way more sawmills. Let's see, other gatherers too close, not enough space. I put it here. I'm probably just gonna have to make do. Okay, oxygen is still dwindling. Space. Yeah, can I? Another one here? This is low, though. What if we do something like this? Bountiful. Okay. The only immediate problem is now I have to get a uh, staircase set up that can actually reach. Okay, it's that. Let's see. I don't even want to handle this poorly. That's how. But on the flip side, I think we're fine. Let's just move these characters. Night is nearly here. All right. That's a bad... That's a bad noise. I'm not ready for that. Uh, let's go the other direction, actually. There. Now they have a path. 
awkward one, but we have a ton of oxygen. And now we know which direction they're coming from. Okay. So now I can finish a gate. We have tons of oxygen now to work with, so why don't we get two bowmen. Not enough wood. Not enough wood. It's fine. We don't need wood where, with what we're doing, at least for the moment. Okay. And if I remember right, these Merlons actually give give us a bit of, bit of a boost. Let's go up one more tier. Get some height. Hopefully not have to worry about anything falling on me. And then... Merlons. Make a nice chunky wall. I'll tear some of this up later. But that'll be later later. Oh, you know what? Here's a question. I'm gonna recycle that. Uh, maybe not that piece. Recycle these two? Okay. Stone half arch right there. Oh. Get rid of this one. I really like this building system. Yeah, we need a door here. And that should render it fairly durable. Oh, that's a half arch. That actually what I wanted. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay, so where's my Hoger lo launch lobber? There. They should be able to just go right out here. Yeah. Can they not? Mm hmm. Hmm. They're not the piece I'm looking for. What if it's one of these? Let's okay. Go. There we go. They can go out there. Not perfect. It needs some needs more support. Lord, you know, for now, I think it'll have to do. The next order of business, we gotta get everybody up top. I don't have much wood left. Is the issue. I don't have too much of anything left. I think we I think we have enough. Just barely. Okay, let's have this rotate down a smidge. Yeah, I like these Merlons. They are going to cause some issues because, yeah, I'm going to need stuff there. Needs more support. Uh, Well, this isn't defensive. This is just here for people to stand on. Actually, not too bad. Move them back up. Uh, though I guess we got to finish the staircase up. One of those there. And rotate one more time. There. They can now get up. And I'm probably going to make it so you can actually uh, go across the entire top just in case. 
something decides to come say a nasty hello. Okay. Post me hot doing it. There. Send him up. And while we're here, we can do one more thing. Cost me a bit, but I believe it's here. We can get a banner down. Yeah, so we can get a damage... A range boost and a damage boost by having these characters here. I don't know if I'm going to bother with this side immediately. Uh, so now that we've done that, I should go back and pay heed a little bit to my industry. Yeah, do I want to get a beacon out here? I'll build another. And we're going to need more stone. Oh, but I'm going to need more wood. Yeah. Cannot build outside territory. Could build, build over here, but still out of sight. I should probably take a character and send them over. Okay, they'll be here shortly. Why don't I get one more bowman? And both of these. Which building lacks a path to the citadel? This? I suppose. There. Now it's active. We are going to have to come back and clear out these guys. But we don't have to do it immediately. Horrors are coming. Now, do we think I have enough people? Having the foggiest. Yes, I've got this. I'm gonna bring them over here real quick so I can get another lumber mill. Or sawmill. We're under attack. Okay, let's just put that there. And can I get another one of these? And go back. I don't think we have too much to worry about. How's this guy doing? He's doing reasonably fine. And yeah, it seems like my stone blocks are doing plenty well. I'd like to get a couple more of these bomber guys on these floating platforms. Low oxygen production. Oof. Yeah. How's this looking? As soon as they break it, I might just, um... Nope. We survived the night. Alright, cool. How are we doing on wood? Actually, doing kind of better on stone. I think rather than merlons here... I'm never going to have a unit out there. We're going to turn this into kind of bonus oxygen production, seeing as we already have... A Not big structure. Enough. Okay. I thought we'd have enough wood. I was wrong. Okay, let's grab them all. Let's go clear out these guys. There aren't many of them, so we should be able to just tank them. Otherwise, we could make, like, the world's most rudimentary gathering setup. Or rudimentary wall here, but I don't think I'm going to bother. For Ogar. Yeah, I just want to get rid of this big dude. There we go. Right, now that I've done that, all we have to do is worry about this one side. And this wall held. And I believe, yeah, recovers straight back up to full after every wave. So we don't even have to worry about that. Oh, now I've got plenty of wood. Let's go back to resource gathering. Not enough space.
Okay. Now I'm just do, gonna do a staircase there. One there, and then that. There we go. I might honestly do the same on this side as well, if I can. Can I Can I actually put some more blocks in here? No, I cannot. I really... I don't know. I, I hope we get the ability to effectively convert these this rocky terrain into functional land. Huh? Ah, dang. I was hoping I could turn them into a control boat. Uh, oh, Thunderbolt. Masks on. Keep that in mind. She is an AOE That's she right. can use. We will prevail. But only when she is completely static. Well, Good. that's a ton of wood. Let's do something with it. Oxygen is not dwindling. We don't have to worry about it. Masks on. And yeah, if I want to be, if I want to be silly here, what I can do. is potentially use these guys. Yes. To push our territory out further. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. We will prevail. We will prevail. Here's the thing. Look at this. Look at this kind of pier. And then we've got some stuff over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, she just cast Thunderbolt herself. But yeah, so if we could attack this direction and I had this area in my territory, we could have just a bunch of people just hanging right here. Almost nothing required to make it work. And they'd have to run past all of them just to get to the walls. And they'd be super safe. Probably worth it. Okay, so what else are we going to do in the meantime? I guess what I should do is probably slap the last couple of requisite stone blocks in to complete this as a wall. It doesn't need to be too much. Okay, I should figure out where that is. What? Uh. Hmm. Hopefully there aren't enough of them to do any meaningful damage, but there might be. Okay. Work on the leather gauntlets. Get like two more lobbers. We lack citizens for that. Okay, I'm gonna need some more towns. I don't think they've destroyed anything meaningful here. Mostly good. Okay. So what I might do, seeing as they've come that direction, is leave one archer behind. Just as a, oh, they're attacking this side. Deal with them quick. Okay, let's go over here. Because, yeah, my entire goal mostly is just to take every bit of territory I can. Even if it's just a... Uh, a small amount. I want to do this. I think I'd want to do it right here. Reason being, this way my guys can hang out here and shoot.
And also it's on a bit of a bottleneck. There. This way if the beasties decide to come say hi, they're at least going to get stopped and I can work with it. Masks on. Okay, put them here. Looks like there's an interesting bridge here that I might want to deal with. Plus tons of resources. I guess what we I what I should also do is preemptively just build some more oxygen generation. Oops. I'm supposed to hold shift here. I think three of these is enough. Okay. Let's... Oops. You're wrong. I would love... And this isn't like a hard necessary thing, but I would love it if this game actually had some level of smart detection for uh, when you're trying to... Like, put a staircase down if it was like, oh, this hooks up to the other one. Maybe it does have that. It just doesn't trigger always. Kind of a windy staircase. But this way we don't have to worry about oxygen. Hmm. Are any of them terribly injured? No. Okay, That's good. Right. So this will get us some more wood salvage. I'm not big on that. This is good though. What I should do at this point is actually put down some more houses. Uh, maybe not this one. Yeah, I don't I don't want these to get in the way. Oh, I can also stagger them just slightly. Save on space. Okay, so that cost me a ton of wood. However, that means we can get over here and actually pick up these wood wood piles. Masks on. We will prevail. Okay, next order of business. Finish these. Let's squander some resources. Oops. Squander some resources for a moment. Make a bridge. Not the best bridge, but it's a functional bridge. And this way I can get some more stone and some other stuff. I don't think I'm really going to do anything out here, though. That's right. Good. Good. And now we have enough minerals. So last order of business would be probably claiming this area. Because if I can cut this off, we don't have to worry too much. Yes. We might have to worry out here, though. We're under attack. This is... Let me guess. The wall? Yeah. For Ogar. Oh. I guess we're actually kind of okay. Lucky me, I already had a couple of people just hanging out out here. You know, they're attacking these? It's kind of tempting for me to have kind of a series of platforms that I could work with. I might do it. Uh, let's get our quarry, though. Hmm. 
Because that one actually has minerals, so we can get some more. Okay. Do I actually want to recycle these? I cannot. So never mind on that. Yeah, do I want to just wall this off? I mean, the thing is, I don't know if we're going to need gates anymore. Ah, but a, a double door. Double door is fine. Okay. I'll just fill in the gaps momentarily. Oops. Yeah, we've got plenty of stone, so I can kind of fill these out. There we go. If you notice the color is changing, the higher you stack your walls, the more durable they get, to a point. Let's see. Do we want to start messing around a little bit? You know, honestly, I'm not even sure if we need the ex extra unit thing. What I might want to do is just make everything double thick. Just absolutely chonkous. And then, uh... Not quite that. I don't know why I like alternating them. I think it looks nicer. Uh, I guess I'll just not here. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I even doing? I don't know. Can I like press a delete? No. I'll line this up. But yeah, if we have a double thick wall, can I do further? No. Pretty much nothing's going to get through that. And then I can just put my crenellations... I guess we'll go up one more layer. Because this way we won't need some kind of deranged staircase system to actually get up here. This is weird. But I don't think I can do too much about it. I guess I kind of can. But let's try going down one more layer and see what I can do. But that won't let me. But that can. That won't let me. Funky. Not enough space. It really doesn't like that. Strange. I'll just... Uh, it's gonna bug me too. Every, every bit of this is the bad chaos. I did it again. I think? No. I think I'm actually losing resources on that. Whatever. Okay. Quick thing about Merlons. Can I put this here? Oh, it's out of sight. Where to? Mm -hmm. Just go upstairs. I don't know when the next night cycle is going to be. There we go. enough stone and we're out of stone well let's hope they don't come the other direction you know stone can I get another quarry out of sight excuse me go up here another quarry oh cannot build outside territory excuse me I guess we did need another one of these it's fine I think I should be able to get another uh, oxygen thing. Do we even need more? What are we at? Uh, no, I will definitely want another one. Probably just build it up here. Somewhere. Right here? Low. Really? Fine. Air filtering. 
Still not enough. Wow. I, okay, hold up. I do have a sillier option. And yeah, it does look like I get all of my resources back for recycling. Let's just do it here. Half wood hatch, half wood arch. Uh, this might not work. Nope, we're good. I have ah needs more support so it doesn't it doesn't actually work but it could did I miss I missed oops I'm just gonna be screwing around with some of these things is it like backspace to recycle dang is there a hotkey for recycling things? Recycle mode X. Oh, that's much better. Scale that up because it's slightly off because of terrain, but that's not my fault. Can I put the air filter up here? Yes. Bountiful. That's, um, some scuffed architecture, to be honest. Hmm. It's also going to get in the way. Okay. So I need to go a little further out and just put it on top of this. The things I do for oxygen and my people. And while I could extend one of those, I think that's a bad idea. We'll just start with these. Oh, that's way smoother, kind of. There we go. And now we can put this up here. For bountiful oxygen. I guess I probably could have actually put it on top of the stairs. But yeah, we could do another one of these elsewhere. I have so much wood. Yeah. It's probably unnecessary. Okay, defense-wise... Nah, I might as well put that there. I've got this. Keep two of those guys hanging out. And then probably start looking into defending other zones. Just in case. Right, resource gathering. I'm gonna build another one of those there. So, what does our wood income look like? 137 per minute. Stone's gonna go up by a little bit more. I don't think we can get it to be any higher. I guess next order of business is. We're under attack. It's this side again, yeah? Oh. We're getting attacked from two sides, and they're actually hitting one of the sides that I am... I have not defended. Oh. Oh, that's huh? rough. I'm on it. Huh? That's right. Okay, how many more people can I get? We're gonna get eight more. Not enough wood. Well, now we're running out of wood, but that's fine. Like getting attacked on these two sides is a bit spicy. Because, uh, if it ain't obvious, I am not prepared out here.
Let's um Let's actually build another one of these. Out here. There we go. Needs more support. Really? Apparently you cannot put a beacon on a wooden strut. I suppose that's understandable. Okay. Hopefully that'll get built and solve my problem. Fact of the matter is, though, slightly in trouble. We will prevail. Okay, let's just get up here. Good, it is building. Okay, beacon is done. Because they're going to be attacking from here. I don't know if they're going to be hitting this side. Yeah, on my way. Yeah. I'm not keen on splitting my forces, but it's not actually that bad of an idea. Okay, can I actually get them here? No. Oops. I guess let's recycle these three real quick. Put a gate here. There we go. Uh huh. Okay. Put them here. Oh God. Where to? On it. And we've got a little bit of time. Before this crumbles on my uh, before this completely wrecks me, not enough space. Question. Yes, I'm on it. Hmm. If I'm lucky, mm -hmm. they can't go through that. If they start heading for it immediately, I'm gonna have to panic and move all my guys. But yeah, let's just uh. Finish that. Just barely got it. And how are we doing this? Kind of same as before? I suppose so. We have just enough wood. There we go. I, uh... I'm cutting it close. And that's putting it lightly. But I think it's fine. Okay, nope. Not that there. We can do one of these. And then we can do one of these. There. That should be a complete path. Right away. Let's take two of these guys over here. We're not going to be able to send reinforcements. While we're at it, how are we doing this? This is not particularly tall nor defensible. And I've put this oxygen thing kind of in an awkward spot if I want to get more. More stairs. I don't think I can rotate it. Low oxygen production. Shush. Eyes open. Yes. Okay. Move those two over. Uh, 
Okay, another stair there. Stair there, please tell me I can... Yes. Honestly, not even that bad of a replacement staircase. I am so hoping they don't climb this. That'll uh, be pretty unpleasant for me. The pallid we will prevail. Huh? Hmm. Okay, how we looking? Yeah. Mm hmm. We don't have anybody out there. We're getting attacked. We've got six here, three here. Yeah. Okay, four here. So I got one bomber there, two bombers yeah. here. I'm going to just move them. Build a couple more of these guys. And then I don't think I'm going to be able to do much else. Maybe like a silly second layer. Okay, speaking of things though. Put that there, get one banner. Yes, get the damage boost, them. move over. Because we only need to put the Merlons where our characters are going to be. The horrors are coming. A solid plan. Okay. I can have enough for a second banner. I guess I could. Put these up. Because banners are reasonably cheap. Okay, how are they doing? Not hot. That guy's probably dead. If I had a guess. We don't have enough stone. Holy smokes, that's a lot of enemies. We're under attack. Uh I was not prepared for this. Okay, so that's about to go down. Horrors are too close to build. Ah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hmm? Sir. Makes sense. Don't go down there. How's this going? Oxygen is dwindling. Weirdly well. Okay. Unless we get attacked from over here again, I think we're fine. The pallido shine. We will prevail. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. We survived the night. All right. Unfortunately, all my shit got broken. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, it's weirdly fine, though. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to repair, but... This could have gone so much worse. Enough stone. I'd do it. I'll just put that there. Uh, we're losing some oxygen, but not that fast. Building is outside of territory. This is? Oh, this just has no clear path to the citadel. What? Hmm. 
Okay, can I build another one of these? There. That should do it. The only immediate problem is my stone workers are going to have to walk a very far way. Trigger next wave. No, thank you. We do actually have stone stairs. I don't know how I didn't notice that. What do you oh. No one can actually come and go here. Low They're trapped up high. Alright, there we go. Our oxygen problems have been lightly solved. Our wall problems have been stone. mostly repaired. I think the one thing I'd maybe want to do is replace a number of these with like a second layer of stone. Uh, just so they don't get destroyed. And that's pretty much yeah. it. I think we are going to get attacked over here at some point. We've got one more wave coming at me. This... Is this done? Fine. Can I just do... They do this. Kind of cheesing things here. And it's maybe mostly working. Let's just set the rally point here. And get two more bombers. I like the archers, but I think I have a lot of them. And they don't do AoEs like everybody else does. Okay. Question is, is it just that group that's attacking me? I guess we'll find out shortly. Okay, now this this is working. The only things I do at this point would be like extend that and get some like stone stairs. So my people don't have to walk as far. There we go. I don't think we're ever going to have a whole lot of bad boys coming out this direction. Just a handful. But it's not a bad idea to just have this be somewhat unassailable. Because if this falls, it's going to be expensive. And hard to reach. There we go. Then I'll have to do that kind of the same over here. Just another layer of wall. Move, uh, another layer of wall. Move the Merlons out. Have an easier time of it. Probably something similar over here. So here's a question. Oh, interesting. Those Merlons make a difference in terms of block durability. Okay, so we can't we can't just do limited Merlon placement. So in that case, we might want to redo some of my oxygen gathering. That should be nice and high. Oh, don't need that. I think. We're under attack. Let me pause, let's figure out. Oh, it's just here? Yeah. 
It seems like they're just committed to attacking that one side, and that one side only. Which is kind of comforting. Okay. Yeah, let's just get another oxygen filter up here. So we want to recycle this one. Oxygen is dwindling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably should have built one before the other or like spread them out a little bit, but I think it's fine. Yeah, I can have them coming off the back. I just don't want them on the wall. Let me double check. How much oxygen? Could put it up like one more layer. And bountiful. Perfect. And all we need is some stairs. Arr. There. Because, yeah, if it's attached to the wall system, even if it's just in the back, it makes it easy to get to. We'll probably want to do the same thing out here. Maybe. Can I? Low oxygen production. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just do this here. Guess I'll have to move that. Oxygen is dwindling. Okay, back to this. Bountiful. We can move it up one more layer, I think. Is that enough support? Yes. And all I need is some stairs. Yeah, they said this takes about an hour, but they did not account for me being, um, exceedingly thorough. This is why I enjoy these games, though. It is so fun to just build, like, the perfect fortress. Hmm. This is kind of scuffed. I guess we could do another layer. I think at this point we have enough stone. There. That would be nice and sturdy. Uh, there. Nice and sturdy with a place to actually fight. Or maybe this. Get rid of that. Which of these two? There we go. This way I can get a flag. And put a bunch of people there if I really felt like it. Low oxygen production. I don't think I need to. There. That's a nice tanky little section. I, I would love to have parts that can kind of fuse with the cliff face. And then clear the top of them. Or something. We want to kind of do the same thing over here, by the way. I think so. Because so I've got plenty of wood. So let's get a uh, let's get another oxygen thing while we're out here, just in case. There's one problem with putting these effectively on my walls is it does mean that if uh, any of my walls get messed up and the path is gone, then we uh, get hammered. Oh. Lads. Masks on. How long have they been attacking me for? It took a whole wall segment. Rude.
Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to make this double thick. Why not, right? Uh, let's see. Yep, upgrades all those segments. And we're just going to recycle all of the Merlons. And the damage boosts. There. I guess you only need one Merlon per wall segment. We are yes. But still, okay. The night is nearly here. Oh, good. They're attacking from every direction. I mean, all things considered, it's probably fine. Question number one, what can I do here? It cannot build in the mist. I think if I have the Merlons, though, we'll be okay. Because these are way more durable. So I think these four here are good or overkill. I'm going to do at least one of each. Okay. Yeah. I'm on it. And then we'll kind of split up. Yeah. Yeah. On it. Mm. Right. And this might be one of those where we yeah. kind of sacrifice some areas. Where to? Okay, mm -hmm. you guys go there. I think we're gonna, we just going to have to have four per okay. section. And then just rely on the strength of my stone. Which is like the most dwarven thing uh -huh. I could say here. Good. For Ogar. Huh? I'm going to bet they're going to be going here. And place flags accordingly. I can always move them if I need be if need be. Alright. So the one thing we need to panic about is this area is extremely poorly defended. Yes. Right away. Suppose let's fix that. So this needs at least one more layer. Okay. Right. Not enough stone. We don't have enough stone. It's fine. I think we've got some time. But let's just move these guys out. We do have a secondary wall segment here that we can fall back to if this starts getting hairy, but they do tend to get kind of distracted. Okay, is that about as fully upgraded as I can get it to be? Not enough stone. Yeah, not enough stone. Okay. Yeah, everybody else has their positions. My one fear is if they decide to come around this direction, but I'm kind of hoping they just go for the wall right in front of them as opposed to finding the one entrance to my base that I have not defended. In any capacity. There we go. What's up? Ugly. But so be it. Here's the question. Can I put a Merlon here? I can. Post me high. Yeah, I think what I'm going to want to do... is just have a couple of flags and just the move my people accordingly. Is. I don't have 
enough. Hmm. You know, I wasn't expecting them come to come from there exactly. That's because they're not. Yeah, I'm on. We're under attack. Okay. We don't really need the Merlon out, out there. Alright, so where am I? Oh my god. Here's a question that I never checked. Could I have upgraded something? I'm a goof. I could have actually gotten more units. I was just so focused on everything else. I think we're going to lose here, considering how many enemies there are. Um, but I might as well at least see what basic dormitory gets us. And who knows, maybe my just heavily upgraded walls are enough, but I think we are uh, looking at some pretty hosed stuff. At least I made many of these double thick. Not these though, this, this side's in trouble. So many of these sides are in trouble. I'm just gonna hope they're just so distracted by the walls that it doesn't, it just doesn't matter. Ring-a-ding-a-ding. -a this is bad for me. Uh, yeah, I think we lose. Alright, it's fine. I wasn't really expecting to win here. Uh, let's see. And that would have let me get an extra five guys, which maybe would have helped, but uh, I get the distinct feeling this was made uh, for me to lose. I could see having like a bunch of fallback walls and a bunch of other stuff and actually winning this one. Uh, but honestly, I think mostly what I would need is uh, actually a full tech tree and so on and so forth. I really like this game, though. The, the Citadel building is very satisfying. The art style is fantastic. The vibes are immaculate. And I'm actually really looking forward to the campaign mode with its, you know, story. Because uh, it seems kind of interesting, very otherworldly. Kind of medieval Spain, but also very much not. You know, there's horror monsters and death fog and spores? I don't know. Anyway, I very much am looking forward to this one. And I hope it gets funded on Kickstarter. I think it's already, like, well on its way at the very least. Let me just take a peek at it. It is, oh yeah, it's almost, it's almost all the way funded and only has 25 days to go. So I think that's, uh, I think it's in a good spot at the very least. I'm surprised they're only asking for 50,000, but yeah, they got 45, uh, which is great. But for now, at least, uh, if you guys do want to kickstart this, uh, or if you want to wishlist it, I'll have links in the description below and you can do both there. And if you like this video in any way, shape or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. If I don't stumble over my tongue. Uh, with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.